Hi, it's Karen Davis here for SimonSaysStamp.com. I'm sharing a joint birthday card that I created for two friends who are both celebrating their 40th birthdays together this year. And I'm using the Pandemonium stamp set from Mama Elephant. And I'm stamping two of the pandas onto Nina White cardstock using Hero Arts Black dye ink. And then running them through my Big Shot with the coordinating dies. I'm using the stitch circles from Simon Say Stamp to create uh, the frames for my shaker window. I've cut, um, using two of, two of the dies, I've cut a circle frame from Doll Pink cardstock from Simon Say Stamp, uh, another one from Funky Foam, and a third um, circle, not frame, from Vellum. I'm adhering the vellum onto the back of the pink frame um, and then I'm going to glue the foam circle behind that so you create a kind of um, sandwich with your um, various frames and, and circles. I'm using Tombow Strong Adhesive um, because it, while it gives you a really really strong bond you do still have a wee bit of kind of wiggle room in case it's not um, all lined up um, when you first uh, put it together. I decided just to trim a wee bit um, of the foam from around the the edge for at the back cause, so that you just couldn't see it from the side when you're looking front on to the card. I'm using some pattern paper, um, a strip from the springtime collection from Doodlebug and then another piece again cut with the stitch circle dies um, from the Avery Elle Everyday paper pad and that's going to just sit behind my vellum window. For my shaker element, I'm just using some gold confetti and I'm just picking it out um, with my fingers there just to get the smaller ones so I can just put a few uh, into the window. And I'm adhering the Avriel um, circle that I cut earlier um, onto the back and that's made my little kind of sealed window that I can now adhere to the front of the card. So I've glued down my um, piece of dotty got a pattern paper from the Doodlebug paper pad and now I'm just going to glue the um, shaker at window onto the front of the card. Next I'm taking a small heart that's in the Pandemonium die collection and I'm just die cutting a small heart. I did think about doing a pink heart as you can see I'm, I've gone off that idea and I just cut a black one just from some uh, black cardstock. The card base that I'm using is actually one of the new note cards that Avery Al are just about to release at the end of this month and I've selected the New Moon uh, colour from the Midnight Collection. Now to personalise the card I wanted to add the names of the uh, two, well the birthday girl and boy, um, so I'm using the Lawn Fawn uh, Milo's ABCs um, stamp set and I've picked out the letters to spell out uh, Nikki and Danny. Uh, that little heart's also in that stamp set and I thought I would just slip that in between the two names. I thought it would look quite cute. Um, I wasn't entirely happy with the way I lined it up. I did rush this just a wee bit, um, but I thought the sketched kind of um, style of the pandas um, kind of let me get away with that a little bit. So now I'm just um, finishing off the card, just putting the little pandas into place, again with the liquid glue, um, just because I wasn't 100% sure exactly how close I wanted them to be, I wanted to move them around um, just a little bit on the card. I decided I didn't want to leave the heart open, so I took a C10 Copic marker um, just to get fill in, fill in the, um, the open heart between the names. To finish I'm just taking the panel and adding some foam tape just onto the back and mounting it onto the New Moon note card um, and just to finish off um, because I do I wanted to add a little bit of bling so this time just in the form of some glossy accents which I've added to the die cut heart and also I'm adding some to the little um, stamped heart um, down in between there. Um, it's very difficult to get, obviously, with the nozzle on the Glossy Accents bottle um, into the tiny little points, so you can just use a little needle or, or pin um, just to drag it into the um, finer little points where you want it. And there's my finished card. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!